Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you a very instructive chess game. This is the game between Anatoly Karpov and Alexei Shirov that was played in Biel in 1992. Biel is a city in Switzerland. Karpov had white pieces and he started with d4. Shirov played d5. c4, queen's gambit. c6, knight to c3. If pawn takes pawn, we would have a slow defense. But Shiro played knight to f6, e3, e6. That is the most popular move in this position. Another very popular move is a6. And after knight to f3, b5. In our game we have e6, knight to f3, knight from b to d7, queen to c2, bishop to d6, bishop to e2, Shiro castled kingside and Karpov castled kingside. Pawn takes pawn, bishop takes pawn, and now b5, attacking bishop and making room for bishop on c8 to come to b7. Bishop to e2 was played. Bishop to d3 is sometimes played too. Rook to e8. The most popular move in this position is bishop to b7. And after rook to d1, lining rook with queen, queen to c7, and after e4 with a threat e5, but black would play e5, and black is okay. In our game we have rook to e8, rook to d1 again, lining rook with black queen, queen to c7, b3 making room for bishop to come to b2, e5, threat is e4, and bishop takes pawn on h2, so h3, bishop to b7, bishop to b2, a6, it is obvious, black wants to play c5 and bring his light square bishop in the game. Pawn takes pawn, knight takes on e5, and now still c5 is coming, but Karpov was fast, a4, and of course c5 doesn't work because after knight takes knight, pawn takes pawn, pawn takes pawn, knight takes on b5. It is black to move, and he played a rook from a to d8. This looks like a very logical move but it is not the best. Better move is b4, attacking knight. And the best is to capture that knight on f3. Because that knight caused Shirov lots of trouble. So knight on f3 should have been captured. And after bishop takes on f3, check. And after king to h1, bishop to e5, and black is okay. So rook from a to d8 was played, and now knight to g5. There is no another chance to capture that knight. Eventually, the idea is to control c5 with knight. So if h6 is played, then knight from g to e4, and after knight takes knight, Knight takes knight, attacking bishop, controlling c5. That's why in the game queen to e7 was played. Knight from c to e4. Knight takes knight, knight takes knight, attacking bishop. Bishop to b4. And Karpo played a knight to g3. Let's take it back. Bishop to c3 deserves attention. If bishop takes bishop, queen takes bishop, and white is controlling c5. In the game we have knight to g3, f6, defending knight on e5. It is white to move. How would you continue if you had white pieces? And this is not a killer move, but in this position Karpov came up 
with a very good plan. Can you make a plan in this position for white? What would you do? Looks like that knight to f5 is not bad. Karpov, chop, knight, only e5. Why did he give his bishop for the knight? Well, let's see why. Queen takes on e5, and now bishop to d3. If knight was on e5, then knight would capture bishop. With his plan, Karpov created weaknesses on light squares around black. King threat now is bishop takes pawn on h7 and h6 was played. What about g6? Is that better? Well, if g6, I will give you one possible variation. Maybe Karpo would play even better moves, but possible variation is bishop takes pawn. And after pawn takes bishop, check. And after king to h8, check. And after king to g8, knight. To h5 and black would have hard time that is a checkmate for example okay so you understand h6 looks like a better move bishop to g6 attacking rook rook to f8 knight to f5 knight and bishop are dancing on light squares they have a party Black wants to bring his bishop in the game, bishop on b7. So surely he was thinking about bishop to c8. If bishop to c8, then knight to d4 attacking pawn on c6. On c6. So Shiro played c5. Pawn takes pawn, pawn takes pawn, and invasion on the 7th rank, attacking bishop. Shiro played queen to c7, defending bishop. Maybe queen to b8 is better, what do you think? Maybe not. If queen to b8, this is how Karpo will continue then. Check. And after king to h8, then bishop to f5. Can queen take rook? If queen takes rook, then we would have this continuation check and after king to g8 check again and after king to h7 then check and checkmate next move okay let's go again if queen to b8 knight to e7 king to h8 bishop to f5 queen takes rook and now again check and check can black block with rook if rook blocks aha uh -huh. that is a problem maybe a black should capture rook earlier because after rook takes rook and king goes to h7 there is checkmate okay so we are again at this variation queen to b8 check king to h8 bishop to f5 now black should capture rook. Is that right? If rook takes rook, then how would you continue then? Then queen takes rook, obviously. And now if queen takes rook on a7, then check. And after king to g8, check. And after king to h7, queen to d3 with the winning attack. But black is fighting, but he would be losing anyway. Okay, so you can see that queen to b8 is not better than queen to c7. Now, knight to h4. Rook takes rook. Queen takes rook. And rook to a8. First move that comes to mind is rook takes rook. But Karpov played queen to g4. Did he forget about his rook? No, he did not. If rook takes rook on a7, then check. Black has a choice. King to h8 or king 
to f8. Both moves are losing. Checkmate. So rook is a taboo. e6 must be defended. So queen to c6. It is white to move. And in this position, white use a tactic called deflection. Can you see it? It is rook takes bishop on b7 and queen is deflected from protection of e6. Check. King to h8. In this position, white made a move and black resigned. Can you see it? Move is bishop to e4 and black resigned in view of this continuation. For example, queen to a6 defending rook. Now check and after king to h7 check king to h8 check. So poor king has no chance against queen, knight and bishop. King to g8 knight takes pawn on h6. This is double check. King to h8. Check. And now king to g8. Check. King to h8. It is white to move and to give checkmate in two moves. If you wish, you can pause this video. And you can try to find checkmate in two. Ready? Check. And checkmate. Smothered checkmate. That was the same night which Shirov didn't capture in this position. Instead of taking knight, he played rook from A to D8. Anyway, this is very beautiful game, isn't it? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess. And bye for now.